We are the support, trudging down our separate lanes, hoping, wishing, praying, someone will come to share our pain. There's wards in our backpack, with no boots on our feet. We brave the enemy jungle and fight carries who will cheat. Some, sometimes we find somebody who likes to support too, and when they walk beside us, we remember why we queue. But all games twist and turn, and when you start to lose, your team will likely blame you and target you with abuse. But don't give up on hoping. When your team is utterly lost, you can totally come back if you can pay the mental cost. And though others have more farm, it doesn't mean you're wrong. So pick yourself back up again. And just keep trudging on. 19 minutes, that's for sure. Of course, I haven't seen uh, many comebacks at this point. But uh, it does happen if one were to dive too deep. But uh, it's not like this lineup oh. is uh, out of gas completely oh or anything. God. You see that? He like had to dr pick up three different items while he was being X back in. Jeez, that was a lot of work. It's, it's hard being a courier, you know? Yeah. Aster on the brink of elimination and Alliance, the team that want to send him there. The hometown heroes. People didn't believe in this roster going into this. Ут Хрансфер отлично закрывает Кипер взлайт и Керакоптер Кипер взлайт погибает. Керакоптер остается вне команды и он пытается убежать. Подальше. Рамзеса даже пока не нужно кастовать Black Hole, хотя, возможно, будет момент, есть момент, Midnight Pulse, Black Hole, BKB, и нужно просто бить, покатился Пангалиер, Night Stalker, Spirit Vessel летает, чайник при передачу, минус 4, уже остается один тимбер против всей команды ЕГ, и его добивают, трипл килл для Артисти, и да. Про Гамбит, вы, в свою очередь, на турнире выступили 4-0, почему здесь было так тяжело? Очень сильно ФНГ поработал над драфтами своей команды, и нам приходилось адаптироваться. В общем, это была битва идей между мной и ними, и им огромный респект за тот прогресс, который мы... So the last question is, do you like your new team so far? Yeah, I like it. I like my new team. It's, it's a new life for me. Вау. Претензия, которая обычно бывает к инвокеру, что его берут, ну, типа, не что там куда, какой-то что там квасвекс, поснимать, какой-то весь собрать. Здесь мало того, что был экзорт, так еще и была стратегия под дальнейшем, под дизейвел, под станы, вот стан лины, стан с ракеты, под кулакса, давай стан страйки, старт игры дал им большое преимущество тем самым, и в дальнейшем катаклизмы. Вот на момент катаклизмов немножко не задалось. Вот как раз в этом и был мой следующий вопрос. Не стал ли этот инвокер по, по итогу? И они, они, на скане, они на скане увидели, что там может быть Рошан. Рошана нет. Никто его не бьет. Ребята начали бить Райну. Акс блестящий брейв пошел. Пока просто на страйк без катаклизма. Как бы там катаклизм мог ворваться. Но задувка есть, присоска есть. Лайфстилер в итоге убивает. Отличие отличной работы успел дать контроль. Летает чайник. Много урона по юнитам. Абит под блокинбаром. Оказывается, в эпицентре драки. Юл пошел на кентавра. И еще один агар. Кентавра пытается убить. Лагуна Блейд. Синистер Гейс. Сайс Волл, Колд Снэп, все это работает, и в купе хватает урона и контроля, добивает также и кунку, минус 3. От Invictus Gaming. А Шрайн успели? По-моему, даже Шрайн не успели забрать. И... Ну, вообще тут, такая тут ситуация, пойти Шрайн да, побить. Они... Плесочек Мека на 9, там кто на 10 был. Это момент. что то как-то через чурпы страдает. Да, это, это просто ненормально. Лина на центре, отличный стан по двоим, Скай может добивать, брони там нет, очень легкий фраг, Абет. Лагуну по нему, полетел метеорит, метеорит не точно Абет отходит, но далеко ли? Нет, далеко. Пришел Чем, пытался помочь, Меку нажал, но помощь такая себе, ставится Айс еще и крипы все падают, Гарпия подлетает, но добить Лину здесь не получится. Трипл килл для инвокера, но тут очень помогли саппорты Лина. Саппорты, да, очень, очень все сделали грамотно, вышли на центр, и тут такой, знаешь, прям лишний фит получился. Think about what you believe in, you know? Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, but Cap, you're saying stupid, so do you think you should draft from your brain or draft from your heart then? Uh, well, I personally draft from my dick, but... Yeah. <laughs> So is that what are you playing now? Just the only Ven? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Visage band. My this draft really is I mean obviously
Boxy, he tries to walk forward. There's going to be the swap save from Insania, getting Boxy out of range, but still the Golem is on top of him. The stolen swap from Xinqiu dragging Insania back. The Urn of Shadows, and there's the second charge from Xinqiu, trying to bring him into the reach of 897. Tornado is out. Insania has got to deal with that Golem. Hand of God will keep him alive, but the vision's there for the Fable. Great three months done though, Minke. He's looking for the setup. Turn around, Boxy's in. Follow up Avalanche. And it's actually Liquid that end up coming out on top. They're taking down all three of Eho. Wow, Mickey with the turnaround. Mickey with the Who's Stomp. They're bringing in the Sven. He's BKP. Godstrike has he got the damage to bring down this Leshy? He has not. Mickey's just able to walk away from him. Quipha's now going to turn up towards the fray. Only Insania to fall. The Golem's getting low. Boxy jumps in. The toss back into the two man avalanche. He's caught the two of them. Fate behind's falling low. The Central gets one more Who's Stomp out, but he does die. Faded as well with the BKP wearing off. Cannot escape. As Ehome, they look for a fight. They get. Insania and Boxy, but they lose two cores themselves, and the two cores that arguably the game is most important for at the moment. Back looking for the dual follow up to swap out for Fade, but they've already found the ulti out from the Grimstroke. Follow up coming in for Miko Baby as they try and get the kill, but they're not quite going to get him. Forces Ooh, out the Chrono. Nice. And Fade in the meantime looks like he is also going to go down. No, he's able to get out of there. They don't want to die for SCCC and actually out of mana at this point. Finding the follow up. No, but the turnaround oh, no! comes out. They destroyed him. <laughs> Blood Tinker didn't stand a chance, and SCTC is also going to get ran down. Ultra kill, Nico, baby. Did you think you could kill Faceless Boy? I mean, he was still backed up by, by Lip. Hey, Nico, baby, but there's no follow up. XXS is going to die there as they get the fear, the pull in. They want to take him down, but they've already got that GA out. <laughs> that was a little bit too psychotic what for my the sake. Hell? <laughs> like, if your whole team's lying there and wait, that might be worth it, but I don't know, XXS. And they're going back in another round. Roche is down. Very, very low. Can they kill them off? No more GA left. Chuan walking brazenly into the pit. He doesn't get anything. Nico Baby gets it all. <laughs> now he's just going to have to walk away again. If they're not careful, Lip is just going to start laying into them here. Oh, Bobaka, he found out. While Bobaka dropping down the wards, can they kill off any of these heroes? There's the RP already out, but not doing quite enough damage. So they do lose the Ogre, and now also looking to maybe lose Nico Baby. As the jump was a little bit ill-advised, but they're healing through this. They got pulled back in. The skewer, how did they find him? Oh, there's no buyback on Nico Baby. SCCC finds the triple kill. Limp is going to have to do it all in a bit more as 65 minutes in. It's just the sniper that's left there. All right, there they alive. have another ulti. They're ready for round two. The RP pulls it back in. The Hex is out afterwards, trying to keep this alive. They've got the glyph still working for them. As the GA comes out afterwards, they still can't take down that Ancient. But as they chase down another XXS, going to take a good bit of damage. But there's going to be the Omni Slash on top of one, switching over the damage on the hand skin. But guess what? This game is Defense of the Ancients, and Alliance have lost. As Aster pull it back to one game apiece. They made the fatal error of leaving the high ground for a it, it misses both of them, but you're trying to like go for this value oh, play. So a that, chance. Dude, this is a dream. Bobaka, he wants it so badly. Give this man a kill. The stun, it's going to connect. Does Nico Baby get out of there? The GA <laughs> to make sure he gets away. Oh, no. That that was this game right there. That's it. All right. I'm good. Oh. Так, Дарья, ФМЛ версия Дмитрия. Интересное предположение. If you want to try to take a fight, there is going to be a pull on the Night Slayer. Do they have enough damage? It looks like they might. He has the armor, so though. So damn tanky. And look at the Keeper of the Light ulti. Four oh. man pulls it. But on the backside, it will be a three man chrono. They get the Night Slayer first. Keeper of the Light should be next. Arteezy will get these kills. One more right click. There it is. And now they're rolling. Uh oh. This Timber side, he's under the Midnight Pulse. He's just going to go down as well. What a fight from evil geniuses. Perfect timing as well. Yeah, I mean, for MDLX. Your... <laughs> that boy's got a Hemi. That's yeah. what's going on right These there. These are your dad's graphics. <laughs> <laughs> hey. And our MVP is, uh, is Mickey slash Koifa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Definitely was supposed to be Koifa there. Man, Mickey, look at that fucking pose, though. That is a... Yeah. Like that's <laughs> He's doing some martial arts right there. I oh mean, shout geez. out to them. It's really tough to confuse Koifa and Mickey. <laughs> One is like a, a, a five foot, I believe he's... Like Vietnamese <laughs> kid who sure. lives in Sweden, and the other one is like a six foot four bulked out German. Yeah. So tough to mix Props those to apart, you. but yeah. You know. well, I want to go back real quickly to that stun thing you were talking about.
Late Bian, good, good quick reactions there. We'll be able to set up for the toss back. They jump into the Dragon Tail stuff. Late Bian is already out by Boxy. They're focusing that Faith Bian. Faith Bian will get himself away, but no, he won't. Coinflip's moving in with the BKB, just charging through them all. Faith Bian falls. They've lost three. They will kill Boxy. There'll be triple buybacks coming out from Eho Faded. Get the two here with the Chrono. Can they finish these kills off? They're focusing down mid here. Hannah got a heal, comes out. They'll get the Phantasm out to play. And he's actually turning. Faded has to time walk away. Mikke now drags in the DK, but still EO. They're trying their best to make the most out of these three buybacks. They get Mikke. Can they get more? The Dragonite falling low. The magical damage will be enough from Tiger as he kills off 897. Instead, he goes for the TP out, but the bash is there. Faded will get another, and there's four dead on Liquid. They had to use three buybacks for it, but definitely worth there for Eom yeah. <laughs> as they're finally able to sort of put a dent into Liquid. They, they get the kills. ไม่เคยเห็นพิษมังกรไม่มีอยู่ในไหนเพราะมังกรมันไม่มีอยู่ไอ้สัตว์บนโลกเรามีแค่นี้ยายกูไม่ไม่รู้ว่าพิษมัน